I don't know why I'm doing Oh, it's recording. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ask us anything about the USA trip and video. I'm sorry if I look really sweaty. <laughs> it's because I have. I've been out walking all morning and now I'm kind of nervous about doing another Q&A because I feel like we won't get that many questions, but hopefully it'll be fun, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Posted. Oh yeah, just got, I don't know if you can see it at all, but it says negative with a big tick. Those hut things behind me are actually where they do testing here in Constance, so kind of cool. It almost looks like a Christmas market, but somebody puts a swab up your nose instead. <laughs> but yeah, at least we're negative, so a few more things are open to us today. Yay! Is this to stop you burning? Yes. Oh, you look good. Yeah. It's great, yeah. Sol Cafe Bar Veggie Food. Oh, yeah. Ah, great. Cheers. This is impossible to talk next to a road. <laughs> Molly just <laughs> dribbled hers everywhere. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Anyway, let me hold the camera while Molly just dribbles all over herself. <laughs> this is the first time we've been here since like before the first lockdown. We came here a couple of times um, and it's a really cool uh, vegan cafe in Constance that I definitely recommend to anybody who lives here. And it's good because I haven't had like any local beers since moving to Germany, which is a shame. But I know if I come here, then it's a vegan beer. So, so I'm trying Fischerin vom Bodensee. <laughs> this should keep us going during the Q&A. Molly's got curry versed with pommes, vegan version with vegan mayo. <laughs> good? As good as you remember from before? We've got some questions. Oh, exciting. I really hope people have done it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's some here. Do you want to yep. get straight into mm. it? So Timothy DeSalvo, that's a cool name, says, what do you think of America as a whole? And would you ever see yourself moving here? Oh, I would definitely move to America. I think, to be honest, the trip didn't really change my view of America as a whole because I idolized it in my head. I was like, this is gonna be amazing. This is such a cool country. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. It was such a cool country. Do you feel the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would live there. Depends on where, I guess, because obviously it's a huge country and it's very different in different parts, but yeah, it'd be really fun to live there. I would love to say that I would live in New York. That whole, having visited New York, a maybe a bit <laughs> less likely to live there. But living, no, I would definitely like to say I'd give New York a go. I would definitely live in Chicago, Monterey, San Francisco, Salt Lake City. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did you ever get in touch with a Jack Kerouac fan again? Oh, no, the French Canadian guy. No, we didn't exchange details or anything. So that's gone in the wind, sadly. <laughs> And there's plenty from Saluna clothing. Um, <laughs> they want free promotion. <laughs> um, hang on, Instagram's saying to get off. <laughs> <laughs> Too much time on social media today already. Um, next question from Louis Smith. It says, how many limes do you consume on the train? <laughs> didn't read I didn't that drink before. any limes on the train. This is Louis no, who we were in the Columbia limes. video with. And in Colombia, we had nothing but limes. Or well, I had nothing <laughs> but limes. But in America, we didn't have limes, mm -hmm. I don't think, sadly. No. Okay, so the next question from, is that an orange peel? <laughs> uh, the question is- Oh, how... that wasn't the question. Is that an orange peel? Because <laughs> no. there are a few orange that's peels a, in the video. That's the username. <laughs> um, their question is, how long was all of the footage before editing? Ooh. I have a picture of this. It was seven hours long. <laughs> and I got it down to 40 minutes. <sighs> it was painful. It was, took, it took so long. <laughs> it was seven hours of footage. I got it down to like two hours, just taking the junk out and then the real editing to get it down to 40 minutes to cages. I hope that answers that question. The next one from Spencer G. Bruce says, any tips on bringing camera gear traveling solo, going on a similar trip soon? Yes, <laughs> don't have camera gear. Just, I, so as I said in the last one, it was all filmed on a G7X Mark II. Sweet. That was my only camera gear. So I could literally put it in my pocket if I wanted to. And I didn't have anything else. Um, yeah, my, I, would love to upgrade my camera gear so much, 
and even if I could save up the money for a big camera, sometimes I just think carrying it while traveling. Oh, it'd be such a pain. You I just look. It's on a tripod right now. Yeah, even that would be a pain. It's. I think it would be a nightmare trying not to get it damaged or lost. And you just look. You can blend in a bit more with a small camera. Yeah. I think you can maybe film a bit more social situations that a big so. camera would make people like whoa. So yeah, I'm sorry I don't have any advice except to keep the gear really, really small like, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> okay, our next question from the same person. Any attractions you would do in the warmer months that you couldn't do when you went? Yeah, national parks. Yeah, na national parks. I, can remember. I was thinking when we um, looked at the footage but we didn't really go to any national parks. No. <laughs> and that would have been great. Yeah. It was just cold. That's probably the best thing to do in America. Mm. They have such amazing landscapes there. Yeah, is there anything else? And everywhere I... We went Probably to not. i was like is there any easy to get to national parks that are okay mm. in winter and everything just looked a bit too like this is too icy this has no public transport this time of year there was no way yeah. of really doing it but yeah that's it, the big regret about probably it. about not going in summer if you yeah. win some you lose some with each season i guess because we do just like to look around the city and you can still do that in the winter so it's okay uh, marissa 134 just comments i'm planning to do the trip by myself thanks for your inspiration oh that's, that's really cool let us know how it goes i, I really like receiving cool. messages like that yeah. okay then robong 97 says not related to the usa trip but have you thought about doing a similar rail journey video across canada oh. that would be great wouldn't it have we thought about it yeah i've been on the <laughs> website to look at tickets for the via rail canadian so many times i think it would just be, be gorgeous yeah and Princess Nuzu won. Total cost of that USA trip in dollars. Check out my video where I go into all the details. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's all explain there. And um, VR Vinny says, would you recommend pet sitting if you have no experience with animals? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Do you not? If you've it's literally never had hard. a pet dog. Well, cats, if you just have to feed cats, like that's not difficult. Yeah. Because cats hate you. Yeah, maybe like if you haven't had your own cats, but you yeah, do like, like them and you would genuinely like spending time with them. Yeah, it's fine. Then but, I mean, you can make it work. And if you're like confident with dog walking, you know, if you're just a confident person generally, dog walking probably isn't hard. I think if you did one with a couple of indoor cats. Yeah, it's so easy. The you one, could the first quickly one build up experience. fine in Australia just with feeding three cats. That was it. Yeah. So probably. I mean, they vary, but... A lot of them. Oh, excuse me. I'm <laughs> gassy from those rum and cokes. <laughs> Somehow sittings, it's like it's a proper like whole farm or a ranch or something. You have yeah. to look up after horses and all sorts. And I wouldn't be up for that. But <laughs> <laughs> lots of them are just cats, and you know you just have to feed, and that's really easy. So yeah. And then Gok Photography or GOC Photography says. Oh, Grace. How long did it take you to edit the Amtrak video? Oh. <laughs> um. Did you say that? In the video just now? No, I. <clears throat> Like, I can, I wish that I really recorded it. I can remember there was a point before we left for Germany where I was like, I feel like I've spent a hundred hours on this so far. Because we were in lockdown anyway. I wasn't doing anything. So I really sort of sunk into editing it. And I was like, sort of looking back, thinking, I think I spent like 20 hours on it that week, sort of counted up all the weeks. And I was like, I think I spent a hundred hours on it. And it wasn't even done at that point. And then I just lost track. I would guess it would be 150 to 200 hours to make that 40 minute video. And to be honest, it would have been basically the exact same video after probably half of that if, like especially if I was a good, edit, a good editor. Like I think I remember yeah, saying, it's experience, like, isn't it? I've spent 100 hours editing this, almost like it was a badge of honor. <laughs> but really it just means that I'm so bad at editing. That you're not efficient and It takes so it. much time, yeah. Because I only did it, I did it on my MacBook with the touchpad. And to be honest, I quite like the touchpad. Like I've got a Bluetooth mouse now, but I sometimes reach for the touchpad for like zooming and specific things. But yeah, I did it all on the touchpad over that one sort of summer and autumn. It took so long. <laughs> Just because I'm... But next time you do a big one, it won't take that long. Maybe. I suppose I've it's been yeah, a got a bit better. <laughs> but it, it would be like... It's learning. I would, near the end, like when we first got to Germany, I would like adjust one audio fade and then I'd listen to the whole video again and that would take 40 minutes for me to yeah. check that I liked that one tiny change. So it was things like that that made it take so long. <laughs> but I don't know, who knows, without that one audio fade, it might not have taken off. Who knows? <laughs> the algorithm might have been like, so, oh, yeah. I do like that fade. Between like 100 and 200 hours, but only because I'm very unskilled. <laughs> okay, next question from... Edistogram? Anything you, you regret not bringing? 
What take him to the US? A better tripod. Mm. Not this big one, but a oh, better yeah, yeah, small one that wasn't falling apart. Um, I regret not take anything. Not really. I think because we've been on trips before, we kind of knew what to take. And we're quite good at packing. We've used our big backpacks before. So I don't think so. Oh. Maybe a scarf because yeah, it was, I was cold say in New York. But it was New fine York to stuff. buy one and then get rid of it. Yeah, don't so eat it, you know. I bought gloves in the tourist shop in New York and ended up giving them to Goodwill, but... But it, yeah, it's that difficult was... for your first trip. Like we did a big trip two years before um, and that I was a bit more worried as to what to bring then. But this time I think we got it down to a fine yeah. knot and it was not too bad. I think we did really well. Yeah. We know sort of how we travel and what we want. Yeah, might be a video in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, next question from Adam Gray TX. What was your overall best scenic segment? Hands down, ours was the California Zephyr, late May 2021. Oh, mm. oh, oh, oh you just did recently. it. Awesome. From Grand Junction to Denver. Oh, wait, who is this, sorry? Um, Adam Green. Oh, yeah, this is my friend. We were talking oh, okay. about it. He uh, we, he saw the YouTube video and he sent me a message saying he was doing the same oh, thing. Oh, wow. And we chatted about it for a bit, yeah. And this, yeah, from Great Junction to Denver, we even got high enough high enough up to the mountain to, to encounter a nice snowstorm. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that was the best part for us as well. Yeah, it's cool that you mountains. got snow in summer. So really you got cool. some other parts of the journey all green and you got that snow. Yeah, that's the best I mean, of both. Yeah, because I would be sad of missing snow, but obviously some mountains are always snowy. <laughs> yeah. You're so high up. That's really yeah, cool. that was definitely the best part for us. Yeah. But um, just watching the video back just then reminded me that the second part of the California Zephyr coming through California mm. and Nevada in was the, lovely too. In the early evening. In, around Tahoe, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that was really, really nice. good. But yeah, definitely Colorado was like It's good that we watched it before answering these. Wasn't it? Yeah. So nice. It, it like goes along that river for so long. And with where it was all iced over and the hills in the background with all the elk. Yeah. Which is great, so wasn't probably it? Probably agree with you about that one. Okay. Mr. Jacob So said, Did you buy a train ticket place by place or buy one ticket from DC to California? Oh no. Split. Yeah. A lot of people seem to be quite confused about this, but we just got, <clears throat> for every leg of the journey you see, that we bought a ticket for yeah. it. So we bought a ticket from DC to Chicago. We bought a ticket from Chicago to um, Salt Lake City. Bought a ticket from Salt Lake City to Reno, which we ended up changing to Salt Lake City to San Francisco. Yeah, that was simple. And the same blah, 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 all and on. We just bought individual tickets for everything. A lot of people have been kind of confused by that, but yeah, that's what we did. That's I don't happened. see a problem with it. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Um, Black Baloo says, what was the most stressful part of your trip? And then he's got a comp they've put a compliment afterwards. Your videos are amazing. You both have a wonderful cinematog cinematography. <laughs> cinematogra cinematographic? Cinematographic. <sighs> cinematography. Cinematographic. Cinematographic. But you could Sounds just say okay. cinematic, but yeah. Cinematic, yeah. You, cinematic well, graphic. that's nothing to do with me, but yeah, style. Yeah. And such a great mind. Keep doing what you love and showing us the best part oh. of the world through your eyes. That's so Isn't that sweet. nice to hear things like that? It's really people. nice to hear stuff like that. So anyway, the question was, what was the most stressful part of our trip? Greyhound. Greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, because it meant we might, well, we were late to the, the house sit in DC. And people which were is going just on vacation and, and we had to have their animals in their it's house. It's really stressful. So that's definitely that. What, oh, what about like, after that? Yeah. Um, nothing pop, Nothing comes to mind, so I guess it wasn't that stressful. But. Stressful kind of was switching the tickets from not going to Reno yeah, anymore. So. That took a while just and to. And like what to do with our bags and things. Put the plan in Salt Lake City, yeah. And then when we didn't have anything to do with our bags, <laughs> we were sat mm. in a food hall for ages and then we went to see so, two films. That so was kind of stressful. When plans change, it was stressful. Um, then after. It was, we were really lucky, weren't we, that it was such a smooth trip. Yeah. It could have been raining every day. It could have been every Amtrak service getting cancelled. Mm. We were really lucky. I think lucky. for me, one of the biggest stresses was just how cold it was in New York yeah. and that you weren't having a good time. No, I didn't like New York as much as I thought I hoped I would. <laughs> I found that quite stressful. Yeah. Like, I would go out and try and run and buy a scarf and a hot chocolate for you and just oh, try yeah, and make it better. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame. Um, in, overall, we were really lucky. It yeah. was like so carefree, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's a comment from Uthum94. You guys should do the, I don't know how to say it, Aaron Adirondack train. Oh, it's definitely cool. wrong. I didn't know there was a train in the Adirondack. From Montreal to NYC this autumn. Really pretty landscape. Sounds great. Cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd love, love to. to. Oh, especially in autumn, the northeast. 
Yeah, yeah I've that seen. Great. I've mentioned his channel in like suggestion. every single video, but I watch Greg <laughs> Adams and he's from New York State, so he has a lot of Adirondack videos and it looks so Adirondack. nice. Mm, that's nice. He should come back to Salt Lake City in the summer. It's a great place to hang oh. out, says Roger613. We will. I, I, and yeah. we'll hang out there. I'd love to. <laughs> we'll go to Pie Hole, all the Salt Lake City tickets. together. Mm. Yeah. Salt Lake City was just we loved amazing. Salt Lake City. It was really like good. all the conveniences of a big city, mm. but with sort of a small kind town like charm. <laughs> and then there was that whole like cultural stuff with the Mormons as well. Mm -hmm. Really worth going to. The next question Would you do the same journey again in the summer? Yeah. Would it might it be too hot? <laughs> yeah. That's true. If we go to New York and it's too hot, yeah. you're like, I wish it was I January. Just hate New York. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise. Oh, yeah, I think course. it would be really interesting to compare at least, even if it's mm. too hot some, at some points. Because surely LA would be really hot as well. I do think that section <laughs> in Colorado deserves to be seen in know. both seasons. Yeah, it would um, be really interesting to compare. Yeah. yeah, and we'd be able to fill the days with different things, like we said before, like going yeah, to national yeah. parks, day it'd be, trips. It'd be a really different trip. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, if it was good enough weather to get outdoors more, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next question from Little Beauty 78 Question. How did you become interested... <laughs> next question from Little Beauty 78 she, They put a question. How did you become interested in travelling by train? It's just what you do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there we go. Because planes are rubbish. <laughs> yeah, we hate flying it's airports and stuff. It's not that we're specifically interested in trains. But planes are just... Why well, he likes travelling by plane? No one does. It's a really stressful experience. I, I can yeah. sort of remember when we were coming back, back from Asia, we were in Kuala Lumpur. It was like a few days before we landed back in the UK and obviously flying a lot, <laughs> remembering yeah. how bad much we don't like flying. And I was like, I need something place. to look forward to when we're back in the UK because that trip was so good. Yeah. And I was just looking online and somebody said, funnily enough, to do the Canadian, to go from... Um, mm. Toronto to Vancouver and I remember looking at that yeah, online I was like maybe this could be the first. next thing to save up for that would be true. so good and then that it's kind of turned out to just be out of budget for that time in our lives yeah. and I sort of changed to thinking about America but yeah that was kind of it I just I never really considered it until we flew so much in Asia that I was like I just don't like flying yeah. so next time I go somewhere I want it to be somewhere we can see like overland yeah um, and America was like a totally perfect candidate for that and now we've done one it's like oh now there's one here there's yeah. one there that we could do and make similar videos about so it just sort of springs out of having such a good time there we kind of took a chance mm. by doing the American trains didn't we yes yeah because everyone says like we said they're in the awful. other video yeah everyone says Amtrak's rubbish but it's not as good <laughs> yeah. mm. so that's where it came from yeah, yeah we took a chance on the American ones and now I'm like trains train train trains yeah and <laughs> um, I mean not speaking about like traveling so much but trains are you know people people travel by train a bit more in europe so we've been used to some trains like that obviously very different not overnight trains oh and obviously we did the caledonian sleeper as well that was a little oh, yeah, taster that was, so that was gorgeous yeah. Yeah. yeah so that proved to us that it was kind of fun yeah okay inventor 20 says did you plan the trip specifically around the californian zephyr what made you decide to travel in winter cost i guess Winter? It was, uh, really well, the winter thing was our tenancy agreement was up in the UK oh, yeah. and our it's friends were going to, to South play. America in, yeah. and we were like, oh, we'll meet yeah, you there yeah. in March and uh, on the way over, we why don't we about it being winter. go from New York to LA without flying, you know, <laughs> just a tiny little hobby that we can do in the meantime. <laughs> mm. So yeah. I guess because then, yeah, it started off we were going to do a big South American trip with our friends, but um we thought it would be a shame to go to the US just for a little bit. Yeah, because we were going to like s just change planes there basically on the way to Colombia. We thought that was a shame, so we expanded yeah. it and then... Well, uh, it got out of hand, the expansion. Hand. <laughs> so it should have been lots of the US and then lots of South America, but Corona happened. So because of those two things, it just ended up being a long yeah, so, North American trip. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> we didn't really do the South America part. It looks like we just, just chose to US. leave the UK in January, go to the US and then go back yeah, home. Yeah, but that wasn't the ideal. Though. But it really it was really hot in South America. <laughs> yeah. But it, it really worked out, didn't it? Because we got a yeah. beautiful train ride out of it. So it's just a funny little coincidence. I was nervous mm. going in the cold. Probably not as nervous as I should have been. <laughs> it was fine. But no, I'm really glad we did it. It gives the video like a unique feel, I think. 
mm-hmm. gives the memories a unique feel as yeah, well. We're not super summery people anyway. No, it's not like I would so. love to be out there sweating in LA. <laughs> we're sweating here today. <laughs> it's bad enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Okay, next question from... <laughs> Have you stayed in touch with anyone you met on the trip? How did they react when they saw the video? Oh, no. only Hayley. Oh, yeah, a bit via Instagram. Yeah. So where we stayed in um, Salt, Lake, Salt City, Lake City, in the Airbnb, there was um, one of the rooms was taken up with somebody who was there like semi-permanently. And so she was there when we got in one night. We she hung out. She was studying out. there, wasn't she? Yeah. She was going to the uni and we uh, yeah, we just got in and we sat down all night with her just talking about America, the UK, yeah, She told Salt us all about Salt Lake City and America yeah. generally, about her life. Yeah. And and it was a really fun night and yeah that's that's the person we like got to know the best definitely and then we follow her on instagram she yeah. worked in a brewery that did like hip ipas and the fridge was like full of them i remember when we checked in i looked in the fridge to put something in there and there was like all these bottles of like this fancy looking ipa <laughs> ice cold in the fridge and it said like help yourself all guests and i was like that can't be right <laughs> all these beers in here so i'm not going to take one and then when we met her she was like oh do you want some beers <laughs> no idea was it a little mochi thing? Oh, Some yeah. Some Japanese uh, dessert yeah. pudding thing. With her, yeah. Yeah she, very, yeah, she was very, so generous and so lovely. Really lovely. Yeah, yeah, she was like, I work in a brewery, but I don't even like beer. So the free beers I get, I just give out <laughs> to people in the Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, and we talked for it ages, she, didn't we? Has she reacted to the video? Or? Yeah, because yeah. I think she saw it when I first posted it, because we were on Instagram and we chatted a bit. Um, and then when it got like a million, she, she was like, I watched it again, it's crazy. That, it's so like, good. that was in Salt Lake City at the same time as me. I could have put her in the video if I asked, but, you know, I didn't want to make We were just awkward. enjoying the natural. <laughs> yeah, but I think she thought it was fun that the place where she lived yeah, was yeah, in like a famous cool. YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that was a good question. But yeah, no one else apart from that. Like, we, mm. like I said, we made friends for the night or whatever <laughs> with people in San Francisco hostel but we just didn't add each other on any no, on any weird Facebook how we just let each other go yeah. we could have done I really like them all but weird yeah. thing is might have seen it <laughs> somebody who's in that video commented do you remember oh yeah a staff like, oh, member yeah staff from, but they were uh, sat drinking with us oh were they <laughs> yeah because he was like oh I'm in that group photo oh, that you that's put so in the cool. video yeah yeah so they, they but, saw the video <laughs> yeah so some, other, some people have seen it yeah yeah okay next question Angela Dandry said, did the train relax you both? The video was excellent. Oh, that's nice. It was really relaxing, yeah. I think we're quite high strung sometimes. Well, not high strung, but like anxious and... Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, yeah, it was, I think it was relaxing, don't you? Because you're on there for such a long time. Exactly. You can't not be relaxed. You can really settle in. It's not like the bullet train where you sit down and you're like, no, is, this, yeah. is this my city? Is this yeah. my stop? <laughs> because it was less busy as well, maybe. Mm. When you lay back, when you lie back, like to sleep and just to relax you just you don't care about like who's walking by it's yeah. like you're in your own little bubble a bit yeah because there's two of us as well so we had like a whole section i really didn't like care. i agree yeah i think cool. it's like if you uh, were sat yeah, down just looking out the window for that long at home you'd be like come on then i gotta do something i can't yeah. sit here all day but once you're traveling once you're on the train it kind of feels like it won't end so you just get into yeah it. <laughs> you just you allow yourself to just sit there more than you ever would at home. So mm-hmm. yeah, I guess it's quite relaxing. I and especially, and it's not like, you know, it's not like you have to drive. You literally just switch off and you're like, well, I made the train, I haven't missed it. That's all you I need to worry about. I check my ticket and everything's fine. And I'm here and I'm just, I, all I have to do is just wait to arrive at the destination. There's nothing left that can really go wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's quite a relaxing thought. You're like, yeah. I can't do any work. I can't stress about anything. I'm just sat here. What did you do on the train? I listened to music quite a lot. Um, wrote in my notebook and listened to music. Talked to people in the lounge car a little bit. And yeah, tried to faff around That's getting what? all those shots of me laying in the... <laughs> um, yeah. Laying in the reclined seat and sat in the lounge car. <laughs> Missed mm. around making a video. <laughs> I read a book one night in the, the dead of night because it was so peaceful. <laughs> And just I could just keep on reading until I'd finished it because there's nothing else to do. Like that's that's relaxing, yeah. isn't it? You know that there's. I just kept it's going. not like you could get not? up and do the dishes, or you yeah. could get up and do some work. You can't that's, do those things. Really there's nice. nothing to do except relax. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find time to read sometimes in normal yeah. life. So that was really cool. 
So yes, it did relax us both. <laughs> okay, and next question from State Chaser 69 I live in Pennsylvania and spend my free time cleaning up our roadsides of trash, of which oh, there is goodness. an abundance. <laughs> did you notice this trash problem across the entire country, and how does it compare to Europe? Is this disgusting behaviour worldwide, or do Americans seem to specialise in it? It's, it's, it's dirty, isn't it, in lots of other places with rubbish. Yeah, you, it's, uh, London's got rubbish. Sadly, it's not unique, um, yeah. Rome is it, like, full of rubbish. I didn't notice it especially in America, to be honest. <laughs> no. It's really cool what you're doing, though. I yeah, love that yeah, good you're for passionate you. about it and putting time into it. But, yeah, probably we need yeah. people like that in cities all around the world, yeah. to be honest. I don't think... Right. Like, there's an, there's an attitude of, like, European exceptionalism, but <laughs> there's litter here... Yeah, well, I went to Berlin and I thought that was really clean, at least the bits I saw. I think for but... me the cleanest place has been Japan. Mm. They don't have bins anywhere, yeah, but, but they yeah, don't have litter true. anyway. And they have lots They've of like, one-use it. plastic as well, so it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Melbourne <laughs> um, was quite nice and clean, wasn't it? Perth was very nice and clean. Yeah. To Not be fair, Australia Europe, maybe is, is the best. Like Japan. London's got loads of rubbish. And yeah, places. London's a mess. Yeah. Rome is a mess. Paris is a mess. Rome is... Such if you went to any of these room, places, you would probably think you're doing a good job where, where you are. Rome um, in Paris, man. <laughs> but in terms of America, I didn't think it was that bad. We didn't LA notice was it a lot. pretty gross. Yeah. Kind of. But, but you kind of expect it. Yeah. It's not like it got us down. Yeah. No, to be honest, it didn't really bother us. No. But I'm glad you know you feel strongly about it and you're putting the effort in. That's cool. Yeah. We're all disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Everyone okay. sucks. <laughs> That's the last one on Instagram. So, oh, so we're nearly time. there. Okay, so the first question on YouTube is from uh, from Karma Outlaw. How did you plan your vegan meals? Can't imagine oh. you ate burging every day. <laughs> if only. To be honest, I think people um, kind of overcomplicate it. For me, it mm. was just like being at home because we were able to stay in Airbnbs that have kitchens. So it's like yeah. if I was at home tonight, I would have bought some groceries from the supermarket and cook them. And that's what I did in America. Yeah, so it's not pasta and vegetables, rice and vegetables. So it's not really... Ramen and vegetables. Like if you can eat at home, I think you can eat while you're traveling, as long as you're in a place that's supermarkets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, we would have eaten out more if we had the money, but, yeah, but <laughs> it was a case of we seeing like, the whole we width of the country. You don't eat out at fancy or, restaurants yeah. when you're backpacking, so... There's... Yeah. Yeah, it, wasn't, it was fine, basically. Um, yeah, it was okay. How many times I, did we go to bed? I don't think twice. it's... Oh, yeah, I don't think it's too big of an issue. I think if you can... Yeah, not in as America. long as you stay in a country with similar supermarkets that you have at home. Yeah. If you can feed yourself at home, you can feed yourself while you're travelling without a plan. That's how I feel. And wherever we do go, I do Google, like, vegan restaurants in whatever city. And mm-hmm. if one comes up, yeah. sometimes we'll try it. Like went, the one in Salt Lake City. Yeah, we went to a diner in Salt Lake City. We went to vegan, that was great. vegetarian Chinese takeaways oh, in so San Francisco <laughs> and New York. The New York one. The New York one was amazing. Well, we the Francisco best Chinese I've ever had. That. I had this like noodle soup thing, vegetables, because remember we sat at a table with that guy. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what you had. I think you had rice and something. It looked way nicer than mine. Mm, mine was good. I can't remember what it was, but it was good. Yeah, I forgot about that place. That Chinese place was really In good. In San Francisco, Chinatown, yeah. That was, that was great. But yeah, it's, it's easy, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, I hope that okay. means if you're vegan as well and worried about travelling, I hope that's helped you not worry. If you can eat at home, you'll be able to make it work yeah. while travelling. At least in the US. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim says, I hope you enjoyed Chicago. We did. Oh, so much. Next time you're here, you need to try the Chicago Diner. It's the oldest and most famous vegan diner in the city. Oh, no way. They have vegan milkshakes. Oh, that sounds great. Wish you'd known I'm, about that. I'm there. <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> that sounds me. great. That's cool. We'll see you there, Tim. Yeah. I'd love to get Thanks it. for the recommendation, yeah. Okay, Morella Bailo sounds, how, what to pack, considering that LA and New York have different climates. Yeah, I know. And I want to pack as light as possible. Yeah, really hard. that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, as we said in the other video, if you saw it, um, we bought, like, charity shop coats before we went to New York and then yep. donated them in LA, so that helped. We didn't have yep. to carry them around. Yeah, so we had no attachment to them. They were just from charity shops at home. Yeah. Wore them for the cold towns and then donated them in the warm yeah, ones. Yeah, and you donated a jumper, didn't you? Yeah, I donated quite and a lot. <laughs> the gloves and that, oh, they were so much lighter then. When we yeah, it was really that. nice. Um, but yeah, it yeah, is Yeah, the other hard. way. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not like you can't travel light because it's still whatever you pack is on your back and all the warm stuff while you're traveling with your backpack, you have to wear it because it's cold. Yeah, so it's not like you need a separate suitcase for it, because if you need it, you'll be wearing it. 
-hmm. like I even wear it on the plane so it doesn't take up my luggage like it's yeah, really it's hot on the plane but I have like my coat yeah, and often everything it's on. cold on the plane I think and then you just you can't you can't control the temperature on the train or plane is what I think so it's good to have it out anyway your jumper or whatever so I think it's quite fine isn't it it's yeah fine, it's not too bad uh, going f if you go from New York to LA it's not too bad because you can just shed just yeah. donate and shed but um, if you're coming the other way it might be a bit more difficult we never went anywhere really hot so that helps but we did go somewhere well, really until, cold until <laughs> like I think I wore jeans like every day in the US oh yeah definitely much. I don't think I maybe had not. these shorts <laughs> maybe not in LA but so that helps I, we just packed not so many clothes we don't didn't, didn't bring that much and, and what helps as well is we um, what you call them, vacuum bagged our clothes, didn't we? They're not professional, you just like lie on them. And oh the yeah, those ones up. where you roll it up. So you can, can fit, it, yeah. I'm sure you've talked about it before, but you can fit lots of clothes in there. Yeah, and we don't and tend to buy a lot of souvenirs. I say wearing uh, <laughs> a t-shirt from Cafe Vesuvio in San Francisco. Did I buy anything? I think I bought a book. <laughs> That's not good for travelling, like. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Okay, Silver Knight Kyle says, did, did you happen to pass through Indianapolis on this adventure? Oh, I don't know, maybe on the way <laughs> to Chicago. I think we went through Indiana. We went through a place called like Long Bend or something. <laughs> that was really old. Because I was sat, I couldn't sleep on the train at one point. It was like 3 a.m. and I was sat in the, uh, in the lounge car in the snow. I think it was either Ohio or Indiana. I sat watching the snow go past and we stopped at a station that was called like Long Bend or Short Bend <laughs> or something that just I thought made me smile. Indianapolis, I can't remember, but we must have gone through Indiana just by how geography is. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, then they say, if you find yourselves trekking this direction again someday, my wife and I welcome you to spend a night or two along your way. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. That's Isn't it nice so when nice. we get things like that? So many comments like that, and they're all really, really lovely. How lucky we are to be in this position that people actually say that to us. It's so sweet. They'd love to I think, again, this is a friend who comments on lots of videos. Okay. So, yeah, thanks. So the next question is from G Photo Girl. Which was your favourite location in the US that you visited? It goes on, but Salt Lake City for me. Chicago for me. What's Do we have to be more specific? Favourite location, if you had to say an actual a spot on or the map. in Salt Lake City. Or just the, everywhere. Wherever. Um, well, it's so difficult, but I guess for nature, the the top of and and what's it called, Ensign Peak. Ensign Peak. Ensign yeah. Peak. Oh yeah, where you have the view of the city really with cool. the mountains in the background. Yeah, I just I can't get over like how close the city is to the mountains. It's <laughs> so it's nice. It's really cool it? the juxtaposition of the two. So there, and then for the city, um, well, I guess for like city, city, Chicago was really cool when we it was late at night and we were walking around. That was. Yeah, probably my favourite part. Walking under the skyscrapers in the dark, and it was just starting yeah. to snow. It was magical. Um, I th yeah, I think Chicago is my favourite city. But if I had to say an exact place that was the best, underneath the tower that we went up in Chicago, I would probably I like the Bean as well. Say when I was stood next to Neil Armstrong's spacesuit. Oh, okay. That was the best oh, the, location. The museums are fantastic. Yeah, all the museums were so good. And I, I honestly found that quite emotional. I was like, this is it. Where this is, is American there? culture that we're seeing. American history that I've always wanted to see. That was the moment was where the worst I really... Museum, though, just saying. It was, it was the worst museum that <laughs> we the, went the to. But the standard was very high. <laughs> yeah, that's I know, true. I just found it. I thought it could be more educational, but it was more like look at the space suits and look at the things. Yeah, it was which is a really museum cool like here are the relics. Less educational, and I like to read about yeah. stuff. Yeah, but the, it was still really. The cool. other museums were better, but that moment stood next to his space suit. Yeah, that was I a bit just, surreal, wasn't it? I can't really describe it to be honest. Um, the other best location was maybe out in the Pacific Ocean, watching whales. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, in, in terms in of sea. one city. <laughs> Chicago. I think Lake City was. Oh yeah, and then they go on. What was your impression of the metropolitan city streets, in terms of infra infrastructure and cleanliness, or lack of? <laughs> um, what but, in any city? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, well, metropolitan city streets. Again, cleanliness. I didn't particularly think anything of it. 
Like New York obviously isn't the cleanest, but neither is London, so I wasn't expecting that. I think we saw a rat on um, <laughs> Roosevelt <laughs> Island, didn't we? I've seen a rat here, though. I've seen so. a rat in Constance, yeah. <laughs> I don't think much of it, you know. We weren't, we weren't expecting America to be worse or better. No. Be no, honest. we didn't go into it like with any kind of hate, like, oh, look at this. Look yeah, at this dump. so that's cleanliness. <laughs> and infrastructure. Just the big roads. It's so cool, yeah. but, you know, it's all much newer than the UK, so... You know, planning went into it. Wider roads, much more space, pavements are wider. It's it's really cool. Every time we were it in like a... It looks lovely and takes yeah. a long time to cross the roads for that part. <laughs> Any time we saw a glimpse of suburbia, it was like, oh, this is what it's like in Vines where they're driving yeah. along and the road is like so wide. And yeah. then there's like houses like People massively like spaced apart. Skateboarding in the road and you're like, aren't you going to get run over? Yeah. <laughs> it's so I was wide. Like, oh my God. But, yeah, yeah. And very obviously very straight roads, like blocks, instead of anything goes in the UK. Um, a bit boring, I think, but probably easier to I quite like get around. It. And then, you know, all the streets are named after those numbers, <laughs> or a lot of them yeah. are. And I th- I'm not very good with numbers, so I think that would confuse me, but it's obviously much more logical. And yeah, it does feel very different, I think. In terms of infrastructure, like makes sense, a lot of people are surprised that we went to all these major cities and just use public transport to get around, no Uber and no mm. car. Mm-hmm. So many people think that you can't do that. I'm and I mean, trying. I'm not saying it's like great for um, like if you were commuting every day or if you lived there, but oh, for yeah. us as tourists, I thought the bus and oh, yeah, metro kind of service everywhere was yeah. I mean, we was great. I thought yeah. there was no problem with getting around. Like we said, the subway was dirty, but like, what do you expect? <laughs> oh yeah, filthy. we did expect that to be dirty, <laughs> but um, but it's still. It still gets you around, it's yeah. fine. People would um, act like you couldn't do the trip that we did no, without Ubering all the fine, time. Wasn't it? But I thought the infrastructure was great. Yeah, we got an Uber in Salt Lake City because it's late at night. But yeah. the buses and the trams in the daytime was fine. Yeah, we just rode them I all around. I don't remember any stresses because of transport apart from Greyhound. <laughs> like in the city centres, they were all good, weren't they? And it, yeah. was, it was it's cool to compare the subway systems and things. In terms of yeah. high speed rail, though, obviously the infrastructure is lacking. But then yeah, if you had we like high speed rail, it wouldn't be, wouldn't you know, trip. I'm on the California Zephyr. It wouldn't be that. Watch in America zoom by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't really see it because it's. Yeah, like on the bullet train. Yeah. That was a good question. And then the other question they had was which do you prefer, the East Coast, West Coast, or Midwest? I never know what Midwest actually refers to, but does Salt Lake City come under Midwest? I don't know. I don't want to make judgments. I would Maybe say we Chicago won't include is because Kanye refers to it as the Midwest in one of his. But how is that? How does that count as West when it's near the East? It's just like that middle bit. Right? So the middle. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say Midwest is the middle now. Um. Um. Well, I really like Salt Lake City, so there's that. And East Coast and West Coast. Well, we only went to like the South on the yeah. west we didn't go to like seattle we, yeah which would have been to amazing go to seattle and um the national know, parks up there to really judge you always think of east coast as being more like the uk because it's older and yeah more european influences yeah. and the west coast is more hip yeah different yeah oh, they're so different aren't they it's too hard to pick because i love both dc and new york i loved san they francisco and monterey i loved and la i thought was all right, <laughs> but that's two to things that I loved on each coast, yeah, and two cities that I like uh, that I loved in the middle. So where do you rather live? It's totally even for me. Oh, it's, so it's, it's too difficult. Like. I would maybe pick San Francisco. Yeah, I feel like DC is amazing to different. visit. I could spend another month or two there, but it, I feel like it might it's, get a bit old living there. So, yeah, it's not that exciting after you've done everything there is to do there. Whereas New York and San Francisco more, probably keep on giving. San Francisco would be more of an adventure because I think it's more different. Yeah. So maybe that, maybe prefer that because it's a bit, it's a bit more different and interesting. Maybe we'll have a better answer for you once we've been back in summer, and we do yeah. San Francisco and the Redwoods, and we do <gasps> New York so cool. and the Adirondacks and I'm Vermont. I was going to say West Coast because I think that'd be really <laughs> cool, and I want to go to Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's more rainy, isn't it? So that would probably be Definitely. like London. It looks like that. Anyway, I'll just say West Coast. Yeah, we, we love it all, to be honest. <laughs> okay, next question from Nicole Romney Dixon. Can you talk more about lodging, Airbnb, etc.? Whether we like it or not, or the pros and cons? I found it yeah. quite easy to book stuff. Like, yeah. apart from the house sit, we just booked everything like a few days before we were going to be there. Like, in uh, Chicago, we booked the Salt Lake City Airbnb and so on and so on. So, yeah. so that was how easy it was to get places to we've, stay. We've had very good experiences with Airbnb. We've used them for years. Excuse me. Um, First time ages ago, 2016. Um, 
It was really good. And um, we've always had good ones, haven't we? Pretty much. I, again, so I we feel like it's something we've been it. lucky with. We've not had any horror stories. No. Um, the house, it, yeah, it was so it was Airbnb's one house sit, which is in DC, and then we went to two hostels. Which have got one hostel. Oh, we world. didn't put the LA hostel at all in the video, did we? No, I didn't yeah. film anything good there because I wasn't in a good mood there because it was kind of <laughs> awful. <laughs> yeah, the San Fran hostel was much smaller and more intimate. Really nice. And you see bits of it in the in the vlog. And then yeah. the LA hostel was massive. It was like corporate and, well not corporate, that's the wrong word, but like it was a business. Yeah, so it was huge. It was kind of intimidating. It was literally yeah. fine for staying, showering, yeah, eating. Yeah. Perfect. Just security. Really but I, I kind of mentioned it in the description of my Mexico video. Like I didn't do a full on Mexico vlog because I was so, I've been vlogging for, <laughs> like five weeks in America and honestly I think by the time I was in LA filmmaking was just oh. it was it was quite um what's the word it's quite surreal to be in LA it was a lot to take in as well and I think that kind of took up all the yeah. mental space and we had to prepare for flying again before it was just yeah. like we'll roll out of bed onto a train but flying yeah. out of LA was a bit different a bit more stressful yeah but generally hostels we've also had pretty good experiences with they vary a lot I think so. you just have to be really careful with reviews it, yeah. Both in terms of not going somewhere with bad reviews, but also don't be afraid of somewhere with low ratings if you see the ratings are based on just... Nonsense. Yeah, some people are so picky. <laughs> it's like, what, did you think you were staying in some five-star hotel in Dubai? Yeah. It's crazy. It's funny. Um, but I, I sort of went into more detail in one of my videos about the USA, about what websites we used and what we look for. But yeah. we mostly look for Airbnb. A private room, I think, is fine, generally. Mm -hmm. You either yeah. stay with, like, a family who are really nice and will like tell you where to go and help you out or you just stay with loads of other anonymous travellers and you just see each other in the kitchen and say mm -hmm. hi and you save loads of money getting a private room yeah um, so that will probably be share a bathroom which yeah. I've never had an issue with never ever. people have never, never had to wait for the toilet or shower yeah that's I've so never true ever. in an Airbnb never <laughs> sometimes you get one where there's like five rooms mm -hmm. um, each with their own key and you share a bathroom living yeah, room and kitchen it's totally fine and I've never been like, oh, someone's in the, in yeah, the shower. You can have a normal <laughs> shower. That's so true, I can't believe. It's never a problem. We've never had any conflict with anybody. No. Next time we'll get in a fight. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, but yeah, we, we just filtered yeah. by so we did a variety kitchen of so that we can cook, save yeah. money on restaurants. And at first I'll try and do my best to filter on a washing machine so that we can do laundry mm. while we're there. Yeah. But if nothing Not cheap possible. comes up with that, I'll take that out and just go to a yeah. coin operated. <laughs> laundry. Yeah, I really recommend Airbnbs. You can, they're more different and interesting and unique than a hotel room. Yeah. So that's fun. And you get to stay in an actual like neighbourhood and mm, go to the yeah. small little local shops and stuff and the little grocery real. stores where people actually go. I think if you stay in a hotel, you just go to like Starbucks and mm. all the stuff in you the lobby. Eat out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So next question from Timo. Did you learn of an American custom? Pop tarts. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, don't say that they're a custom again. People will get mad all over again. <laughs> I don't think so. Probably we were aware of them anyway, kind of. I was trying. Have we, have we like adopted anything? Maybe that's what he means. Uh, no. I don't think so. An American custom. Um, the thing is, part of the reason I wanted to go there is that we're so integrated anyway. Custom makes it sound like a really different cultural thing. And yeah. It's not that different. <laughs> no, I guess not. I guess we didn't absorb anything when we were over no, there. No, we're still introverted, sarcastic. Quiet, quiet British people. people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's an interesting question. Okay, and mm. then after that, they've put any that you found strange. Probably, but I can't think of. Oh, one that surprised me was um, Latter day Saints people not drinking coffee. Oh, I know yeah, that's a religion, that. so it's not like a kooky custom. Yeah, it's it's like just what they believe, and that's fine. Mm, yeah, but I didn't know about I that. Didn't I didn't expect know that. Much about it anyway. But. So when we were with Haley, she was like, "If you see somebody with a coffee cup, that means that they're not <laughs> they're in the not church." Always, yeah. <laughs> um, um, that surprised me. I, mean, I guess like being louder. <laughs> yeah, being <laughs> rude and loud. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of knew about that anyway. <laughs> yeah, but it was kind of. Annoying. <laughs> Shocking at times. I think people who are in a position of authority over there get rude very fast. Mm. Like the people doing scanning your stuff when you go into the Smithsonian, yeah, just so that rude. Yeah, that would not happen in England. People <laughs> managing the queue in the airport, so rude. Oh my gosh, 
that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I guess more annoying than strange, but it was a bit like I wasn't expecting this to happen. Yeah. Again, it's just it's not anybody being street. bad really. It's no, just that it's we just are is. quiet English people, and we're like, oh, good golly, yeah. somebody's yelling at me. <laughs> Ooh, really I'm so spooked. And <laughs> also, like, I think it's mostly New York where that's yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? The coast. <laughs> on the East Coast, yeah. people like shouting on the street and stuff. Oh yeah, the York, doomsday people in LA. That was quite <laughs> shocking. Did an American mistake your accent as Australian? No, don't think so. But we got asked to call like... from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, European accent generally. <laughs> yeah. Or just I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, in New York they they didn't understand us at all. No, they didn't try. DC then mostly understood us, and then the f- after that everybody understood us. I think I think so. Again, it's just East Coast mm. rudeness. No, people didn't think we were from Australia, but we got no. you from Sweden. But I do. I can see the similarities. So, and sometimes you know you hear an Australian speak, and like you're British, and then yeah. You hear, you're like Something. you're kind of like me, mm. but not really. <laughs> I can see I can see why people think that. Did anyone do anything rather nice for you? <laughs> oh, meaning going out of their way. Haley giving us. Haley talking to us, giving nice. us beers. Yep. Um, probably things that I can't remember. Mm. Uh, go out of their way for us. Oh, uh, I said it in another video, but when I was on the California Zephyr, oh, yeah. I got into the lounge car on the snow section, but. Every good shot that I have of the snow section is I got because this old guy gave up his seat so that I could sit next to the window. Old guy. Old, older gentleman. <laughs> a cool grey dude. <laughs> it was the like age these relevant. two brothers who were sat opposite each other by the window. And when they saw that I was filming, they let me sit by the window instead. That's really so nice. So I could film out of it. Which And that's getting out of your way. Yeah. Going out of it, yeah. So that was very, very generous. And they kept giving me their binoculars so I could like look at elk and stuff. I'll always remember that. That really gave the video a boost because otherwise I wouldn't have had a suit. <laughs> Next question from PW, not DW. Hey, DW. <laughs> <laughs> um, how easy was it to buy the tickets? Yeah, very easy. Yeah, it was always fine. Again, I think a lot of people maybe aren't used to getting train tickets or, or I don't know, but there seems to be a lot of confusion. I get a lot of comments about how to book it. But we literally went on the Amtrak website, if we wanted to get Chicago to Salt Lake City, we put in Chicago to Salt Lake City, two people, reserved the seat on the top, paid for that, and then search again, Chicago to San Francisco, or whatever you want to do. It was, I found it very easy, to be honest. So yeah, if you're hoping to do a trip like this, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. No. If you make up your mind and you have the money, you can the get the internet. tickets nice and easily. Okay, next question from Jen Malibu. Uh Did you ever feel unsafe? Yeah. What, this is a story that we've never oh, told on the video. Story is this? The dog in LA. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, generally speaking, only a tiny bit in San Fran, but probably only because we'd heard really bad things. Yeah, we about went there. Certain neighborhoods. On high alert. And which... because it was late at night, we'd gone to get some food, and we were going back, and it was just a bit dark, and I think we saw a rat. So that was probably that night. And I don't know, it was, I did feel a bit unsafe, but probably because of what we were told. It was fine. And I, I wouldn't walk there alone, definitely. Oh, well, when we walked back from Safeway in San Francisco yeah. to the hostel. Yeah, I, did, I, felt I uh, regretted going to Safeway, to be honest. It was late at night. It was the night that we first got to San Francisco and we'd been ex- yeah. escorted through the movie set to the hostel. And I was like, I'm hungry. I'm, you know, I'm the king of the world. I can do whatever I want. I can go to Safeway if I want. It's just dark and then yeah, it's scary. We Definitely should have just have gone, gone to bed myself. hungry or just snacked on whatever we had. Yeah. It was a bit sketchy. Yeah. Took me a little bit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Just, obviously, just to have common sense. About I remember we were like walking hand in hand. We were like, <laughs> don't make eye contact with anybody. Keep going. We were like, fuff, 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 fuff. But the next day we did the exact same walk. But sometimes it can feel safe, unsafe in the supermarket. And I don't think I'd feel like that at home in the UK, I mean. No, that's not a nice thought, but yeah, it's yeah, true. It's just, yeah, how you feel, isn't it? Um, and then, what, do you want to tell the dog story? Yeah, well, we, <laughs> we were just, it was late at night again when we were out again. We yeah. hadn't learned our lesson and we walked in past LA. this like Huge garage. fence, wasn't it? It was a garage as in like it was a used car sales place and it had a huge like chain link fence around the outside and we were walking wasn't past it, this place. Wasn't it like completely opaque though? 
because I don't think we saw anything. Oh, well, it, it was wasn't James. I don't know, but we were just walking past this place and it was all dead quiet. We were just walking to a bus stop to and get we back to our hostel. we were relaxed at this point. Yeah, we, we were just jumpy. chatting. Like, I don't, we weren't on high alert because nobody was around. No. Like in San Francisco. It was in the middle of the people city. People were there. Yeah. So we were like, oh God, oh God, this is, what are these people up to? This is scary. Yeah. But here, in a, walking past this car place, there was nobody there. So we were just chatting. We weren't on high alert at all. And then this... <laughs> this huge... Bark. Did you see it? No, we didn't see it, did we? Multiple but, barks. Oh my gosh, it was so and loud. And I just remember grabbing Molly's hand <laughs> and I started to run because I was like, this dog is literally going to kill us. Yeah. And then I heard it <laughs> clang up against the fence. Oh, we did. And I thought, that's good because it can't get through. Otherwise, <laughs> it would have just come for us. So if it's, it clang- really if it's hitting the fence, I was like, yeah. it can't get us. Obviously. So, Obviously it was fine because it's just a dog, but... And we're like not afraid of dogs. It's not that. It was just so sudden and so loud, and you, c- you could hear it like coming behind us. And the fact so we that didn't it's know it was just on the road or something. Shouting at people at night. It obviously is a guard dog, so it obviously would mess you up. <laughs> it was really scary, and it just made us jump. And then it's you know, making like, me scared <laughs> thinking about it now. <laughs> like fight or flight kicks in. Yeah, the I just remember goes grabbing off, you. And, oh I was gosh, like, was we're getting scary. out of here. I'm getting Molly away from this dog. And then when I heard it hit the fence, I was like, thank God, it can't get to us. So then we turned around, I had a look at the dog, it was going crazy, <laughs> and I was like, you can't even get to me, so yeah, we just turned, funny. walked quite quick, but not that scared. Um, and the last question from Lynn Turtles 93 did you try Mexican food? If so, how did it compare to UK Mexican food? <laughs> a oh, lot now. <laughs> not really, we only had Chipotle, I don't want to say that that's Mexican food. <laughs> But to be honest, I mean, it was better did, than any we food that we had Mexico. in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of the US trip, um, yeah, we only went to Chipotle. Um, I don't really like Mexican food. I like Mexican food, as long as it's not like extremely hot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know Mexican food that well because the UK doesn't have it nearly so much as the US for See, obvious reasons. This is what we get told off for saying. But it's true. Where we come from in the UK doesn't have it. Londoners are like... Yeah, but that's London. <laughs> yeah. That's, but... London has everything because it's multicultural. England generally, England generally, like... The Isle of Wight, where we come from, is so rural. We have so many Chinese takeaways yeah, and mostly Indian, true. lots of Indian takeaway places. We don't great. have Mexican. As a little bonus, I thought that we'd do some hate comments <laughs> because, like I said in my last video, they don't really get to me. It's just funny That's that so people are funny. so hateful over just somebody riding a train and enjoying life. <laughs> okay, a word of advice. Comma, dot, dot, dot. Lose the Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> I didn't see this one. You look like a lame nuts dumbass. <laughs> you have to be blind. I look like Sorry. a lame nuts dumbass. Mm. Do you agree? The thing is, I know the whole like, oh, Harry Potter. She didn't answer whether she agreed. Oh. <laughs> no, I like your glasses. I like glasses. Um, the thing is, like, all the Harry Potter ones, like, oh, clever comment. Because, uh, you know, if you're British and you're a boy and you have glasses, you look like Harry Potter, apparently. But the thing is, these are not even Harry Potter glasses. Have you yeah, seen Harry not, Potter? Not, Harry Potter has yeah. thin frames and they're circular. This is, it's not Harry Potter with glasses yeah. at all. So that's goes, quite like, wrong. <laughs> it's just like wrong. It's wrong. It's just it's not, not true. It's not true. It's just like, it's just like wrong. This is wrong. So when it's we have a not party, true. It's just not true. <laughs> Um, yeah, do you look, lame, lame nuts dumbass though is a great lame phrase. Lame nuts dumbass. Lame nuts dumbass. So I guess this... It's his opinion, isn't it? It's yeah, fine. It's, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. Would you want contacts? Yeah, I wear contact lenses. I don't know if I'd be a Harry Ooh, Potter we're lame. We're going behind the curtain here. Molly's eyes don't work either. <laughs> oh, mine are worse than his. <laughs> Would you like to wear contacts the whole time? No, I think I look no, terrible okay. without my glasses. But you wouldn't look like a Harry Potter lame ass. Le- I wouldn't be a lame ass dumbass. <laughs> oh, Dumb- how can I be so stupid? I've wasted so much of my life <laughs> being a lame ass dumbass. <laughs> I didn't see that one before. That's a good one. <laughs> Typical foreigner. New York City and LA. Do you have any idea how it is between those two places? No. Experience the real America. My favourite was Salt Lake and your favourite was Chicago, yeah. so I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really nice that Fur Baby Mom watched my video, which was called... <laughs> Fur Baby Mom. <laughs> New York City and LA. Mm, That's not what the two. video is called. No, not no, two, no. because that would include things in between if it was New York City to LA. It's fun to hate before watching but the video. 
it's nice that she enjoyed that video. It's almost like we got the train in order to see other places. Mm, than, it's almost than like than my whole kind of opening thing. spiel was about how there's things between those two cities that we'd like to see. <laughs> and then at the end we said our favourites were Salt Lake City and Chicago, which are between those two places. <laughs> Typical foreigner though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nipple lion keeps it oh. brief and uh, succinct. Pommy <laughs> boring channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite. Is to the point. What is Pommy? Is it English as well? I thought it was just like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and oh, South yeah. Africa. But it's actually English what as does well. What does it stand for again? <laughs> oh, I think it's like a prisoner of, of Her <laughs> Majesty or something. It's like yeah, when they ship people Australian to Australia. People. That's not English. Maybe he thinks he thinks we're Australian. I don't know. It might be related to England as well. Well, I feel, obviously, but I feel like we call Australian Poms, but I yeah. don't know because it's you know. Boring bit. channel. <laughs> Just stop watching, man. Yeah. That is your opinion, and it's totally valid. Just stop watching. <laughs> we did another Q and A. <laughs> Would there be any more? No, that's it. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll good. just refresh in case someone put one on Instagram. I think that was a good amount of questions. Yeah. Thank you so My much. I can't believe <laughs> you, you actually scared me oh. in real time on camera. The response to that video has just been so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I've said it like a thousand times, but. <laughs> I'm tired now. Yeah, it's late here, as you can tell by the lack of natural light. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the questions. Did you enjoy? Yeah. Answering them. It's a bit good.